Good afternoon, folks, and thanks for joining us. My name is Tim Ween with Calf Kick Sports, and today we have a special guest, and I'm really excited because it's it's something that uh, I it's extremely a good thing that we're covering here on the show. Today, we have Jack Morton joining us, and he's going to be fighting against cancer. Jack, tell us a little bit more. How are you doing today? All that good, good stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. so I'm, I'm fighting in Ultra MMA, which is a charity event. Um, that's it's kind of the the white collar style, so it's a bunch of middle aged men, yeah. um, giving cage fighting a go basically. And it's sold um, out I, as well. I was trying to like look up tickets. It's sold out. Oh yeah, so it sold out within the first week and a half. Like, it was it, it was gone. Um, so they 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 host events across the entire country, which is unbelievable. Like so far, the Leeds event that I'm part of, we've raised about seven and a half thousand pound. Um, awesome. for cancer research and it's just it's it's still growing um i think they they've raised over three and a half million this year from the events oh um, crap so, so my yeah, understanding of the event is that they take kind of regular guys like yourself and myself for example guys who haven't yeah. trained mma before and throw them in a cage to fight each other and it's it's for cancer research uk but do i have the gist correctly yeah it's exactly it's exactly that it's um it's basically a spectacle event um, to draw people in, get people excited about it and get them, you know, donating money. And um, the kind of side benefits of it for the people taking part like myself is you get a bit fitter and um, you get eight weeks of um, free training um, included in in the uh, course of it. So you and I've got a, a sparring session on Sunday Mm. Um, so where that's where they're going to sort of g get a gist of where I'm at and where everybody else is at, and then just make sort of an equal matchup so that the fights are fair mm -hmm. and that they're interesting to watch because oh, yeah. nobody wants to see anybody just getting bashed around the ring. No, no, I think one thing I think we were talking like there's getting regular guys like you. You you've trained before. You you said you actually had some a little bit of like amateur work when you were like teenager. This was years and years ago, of course. Oh yeah, like the last yeah. tournament I took part in was probably when I was about sixteen, and I did yeah. um, continuous light contact kickboxing. Yeah, that was um, fantastic. Which was you know that was an experience. Um, I didn't do particularly well, but. Yeah, and then yeah, since then I've not really done much. Um, I'm training at the moment over in mm. with um, you might you might have heard of me, uh, Les Allen. Um, he oh, fought he he fought in Pank Race, was part of Lions Den. Yeah, he's an OG. He's uh, OG. He's an he's a, he's an original. Oh yeah, the the yeah, he's been invaluable for this. Um, um, yeah, my partner literally said she says she was terrified when I first signed up, but after I started training with him. Like she feels a bit better that I'm not going in there completely blind. I think if she knew what the lion's den was, she might feel the opposite of like, man, those guys were throwing themselves. Like it was called the lion's den for a reason. I'm, we're getting off topic here, but like <laughs> the Pancrase days, the Ken Shamrock stuff was wild, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm fantastic to have him on my team. <laughs> yeah, he's he's, he's on your side. That's what he's matters. on my side, which which is what matters. So if people want to support it, you do have a, a just giving. I'm going to put it down below. So if people want to support yeah. it, all the money is going to Cancer Research UK. Yeah. And the fight is going to be on December 11th. Is all that correct? Yeah, that's all, all that's correct. Um, at the moment, I think there's 23 fights on the card. Mm -hmm. um, so there's there's a lot of people. It's a, it's held in in a nightclub over in Leeds. Yeah, it looks cool. Um, it actually looks pretty cool. I've seen the pictures. It look, it, it look, yeah, the pictures look fantastic. Um, so I'm really excited. Um I think one of the hardest things that I had to do was pick a fight name and an, a track to come out to. <laughs> Wait, what, what, can you reveal your fight name? I want to know really bad. All right, so I'm 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 Jack the Saracen Morton. <laughs> Where does that come from? That's a unique one. That's not a pitbull. That's not an assassin. That's a good one. No, so the um, uh, so I'm I'm a, a Islamic revert. Got um, it. so I I wanted something that kind of gave a little nod to that. Nice. Um, and the Saracens were, was like a blanket term for used anybody who was Muslim during the Crusades when they were fighting against them. Um, so that's where kind of like the Saracen warrior comes from. That's a really good name. That's a really good name. And what's the entrance music as well? Oh, I'm going with Limp Biscuit Break Stuff. <laughs> Man, when we were like in 
for you guys our age, we would have been in like middle school and Limp Bizkit, oh, yeah. Corn. I think Marilyn Manson. This stuff would have been. This stuff was revolutionary to guys like us, right? Oh yeah, it's yeah. It is like being a kid again. Yeah. It is it? It's that like you you almost forget that you you've got a day job because you're just so focused on on like I've 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 got to get you know I've got to get in shape for this fight. I've got to get in shape for this fight. I've got to win. Like you've got that mentality there, and then you you know you forget that. You've got to work like 40 hours this week. <laughs> but it really does like when I'm jogging or I'm working out, Limp Biscuit and like high energy metal like that, oh, yeah. it just clicks, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm, I, yeah. I'm super excited to come out to that. I'm, it's going to really put me up and yeah, get, get me ready to get punched in the face. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. No, so you have uh, the story that I understand is that you have four kids. And during COVID, you realize like, I really need to get in shape and take care of my health. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and that's why you're doing this. Tell us a little bit more about this. Yeah, so 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 during COVID, um, it was sort of towards the back end of lockdown. I, you know, did the thing of weighing myself, which was incredibly depressing in itself. Um, <laughs> and I was like, I was up at like fifteen and a half stone. It's the heaviest I've been. Ooh. Um, so you know, I was carrying a lot of extra timber, and just running about after the kids was tiring. Was getting a bit out of breath, and it it genuinely started to worry me because I'm thinking, well, actually, you know, I'm a a high risk of you know it, it, at the very least developing diabetes right um but it, you know worse end of the scale it, you know you can develop cancer from from having over overweight issues we, we just put you at a higher risk mm -hmm. um so i yeah started looking for an event to kind of get my mind focused on on getting fit and, and came across this and it was it was just something that was he was on my bucket list. Like everybody dreams of stepping in the cage. Like we've 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 all sat there on the couch and gone, ah, oh, you know, I'd, I'd have completely dodged that. I'd have got him in a rear naked choke. It'd have been over in thirty seconds. <laughs> and now you're stepping in there. So tell me a little bit. What was your diet before, and what's your diet now? What's the weight? All those changes. How's that feeling? Um. So I I dropped to uh, when I, I started dieting. I dropped down to eighty nine kilos nice okay. um, and then i've gone back up to 92 but i haven't actually increased kind of body fat nice so it's 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 an increase in muscle size um which i'm pleased about um it being, being slightly big guy it does put me in that weird category of light heavyweight though um which being you know the your, your average five foot eight bloke the, the light heavyweights tend to be around the six foot mark which is always uh yeah, he's always worrying, but you know, with you know BJJ, if they've got longer limbs, it just makes them easier to grab hold of. No, yeah, exactly. You're gonna look like a uh, oh, what was his name? I think he was just cut by the UFC as well. Who was the the heavyweight who was like five eight and he almost didn't even have a neck? Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh. I, I think I think I know who you mean. But I can't remember his name. It's okay, but, but I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna for the record, I def for the record, I definitely have a neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'll come up with the name later that's all right um and, and your fiance how has she felt about this like was she supportive of it uh, knowing that you're getting in a fist fight what was her reaction to all that as well she's really supportive about it um she she was more worried that i wasn't going to have kind of the, the the fitness or the fight acumen to to kind of step in there mm -hmm. um but she's she's seen a couple of videos of me rolling with the the guys over at game fight and mm -hmm. she's starting to feel a little bit more confident and she's starting to get a bit a bit more excited about it because it's it is something big like the kids are asking me about it they're asking me if i'm gonna win you know they don't quite fully understand the extent of what's actually happening but they think it's kind of cool <laughs> what's your philosophy of having the children watch you fight all for it or all against it because every fighter has a different idea has a different philosophy I think it's um, I. It depends on the the child. The, the, all four of them are completely different. Right. Um, Penny, my eldest, and Paige, um, who's the the second eldest. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think they should watch me fight because they genuinely worry about me. Yeah. Um, Phoebe, she's she's the second youngest, and she's um, yeah, nothing phases her really. So like, she'd be all for it. She'd be, she, she'd be, she'd be in the crowd just shouting random abuse, just being like, "Don't him, bite him, bite him!" 
<laughs> that's the best. That's a good supporter. Bring her, make sure she's there, right? <laughs> that's absolutely awesome. And what were some of your inspirations for getting into MMA? What was your kind of path going into the sport? Uh, honestly, the going into the spotlight, I've always had an interest in combat sports and, right. and the fit and the fitness side of it. Like my my brain's kind of wired that way in in the I enjoy the process like the 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 fact that there is a winner and a loser with it is always good mm -hmm. um and kind of the the mental chess match that is a fight um mm -hmm. because it's not the, there is a huge difference between a street fight and, and stepping into any kind of martial arts in that you, you're up against somebody else who's weighing up exactly what you're you're going to be doing and you're weighing up what they're going to be doing there's set rules that you have to follow so there's elements of it with that um, and I enjoy kind of what that that unraveling as as you're going along, and the pressure of your fitness being put onto it. It just becomes a whole experience, really. And it's this it's fantastic that you genuinely cannot think of anything else while you are trying not to be choked. It is a proper escape from the world. Um, it Fighting really is something, isn't it? And like, it, it's something, there's nothing else like it. You're just using what you're born with. Your opponent is doing the exact same thing. There's as few mm. rules as possible. It's a very pure thing, isn't it? It's a very pure experience. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is, it's fantastic. It's, it is genuinely just two people be, just going to see who who's the best. I mean, I think I saw, what was it? They saw a stat the other day. They worked out that if um, everybody in the world was yeah. to have like a world champion tournament. Mm -hmm. Um you to be crowned champion, you'd only have to have 33 fights. Really? Wait, 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 explain this one to me. <laughs> so 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 you took take the entire population of the world. Yeah. And then you put everybody into two people brackets yeah. to go through to the next stage. They worked out that you only need to do 33 fights to move through to the the actual championship. Well, why aren't we doing this? I'm all for I, don't, it. I don't know. It, feel, it feels very, it feels very Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, it does. Dragon Ball Z. Did you ever watch uh, like Afro Samurai growing up as well? Yeah. And yeah. Samurai Jack as well. Samurai Jack was so good. But yeah, all these things. Yeah, I mean, these were these were cool stuff of just like that is the person. That's the number one person. And and this is the philosophy of like why people kind of got into MMA in the first place of the philosophy of like, there is one man on earth who is the strongest and we want to find out who that man is. Let's use as few rules as possible to get to that state. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think it's easy. It, it, there's, there's the glory of it. And I think what I, what I kind of, I quite like about MMA um, is that the fighters that you're seeing, they, they are in there, you know, they're 35, to, to to forty, that is kind of the the age bracket that they're hitting UFC, and they 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 are at their peak. Yeah. Um. And you you compare that to sports where, like football, for example, as soon as you hit thirty three, that's yeah. it. Your career's over. You you're kind of done. Mm -hmm. Um. So where a lot of these fighters, they are technically middle aged. Um. But they're in the best shape of their lives. Well, yeah, it's a major surprise that you can get guys like a Jan Blachowicz who has like a really late career resurgence. Badr Hari was fighting like pretty well up to his mid thirties. Like it is a weird sport where you can uniquely get guys our age, especially at the heavier weights where like Ben Rothwell was fighting from the IFL to like, he's still active today. Frank Mir is still out there. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is a, yeah. It's a unique thing. It is a unique thing. And you and what you, what you tend to see is, is that you get the younger guys coming in who are like, 25 26 and then they eventually just they move up the weight categories as they get older because mm. they build that muscle and they've they, they've got that muscle mass there and you know you've got people like um gordon ryan who's really kind of bringing grappling sports to to the forefront yeah. um you know of people's minds and they're discussing it because you know he he's a good looking man he's a good poster boy to have <laughs> what's with like Brazilian jiu-jitsu greats of like Bouchesha is kind of the same way or not Bouchesha um uh Andre Galvao of like why are a bunch of you grapplers kind of nice looking you know what I mean <laughs> it's because they're not getting punched in the face that's what it is they've just got cauliflower here and they can and just they just pin them back <laughs> and you look at like kickboxers like semi Shelton Peter Arts and you're like oh god these guys are disgusting <laughs> yeah this yeah you're just getting yeah broken broken noses in in striking sports whereas grappling you can kind of get away with just you know a couple of 
gee burns to the face. Hey, it was not bad. But let me ask you as well. We got off topic there, right? I want to ask you. So now that you're getting in shape, you're eating well, you're losing the weight, you're working out all the time now. How's the body feel? How do you feel? Is there a noticeable difference in in how you're actually feeling? There is. I've I have got I've got a hell of a lot more energy. Um, mm-hmm. I'm I'm feeling more confident and walking a little bit taller. I would say. Um, partly I think because I've been working out different muscle groups, so my posture's improved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. But it is that, like, I feel like I'm in the shape I should be in rather than, you know, just another office chunk. Yeah. No, I totally understand. And that's the best part. That is the best part. Feeling healthy makes such a big difference in, in a mm-hmm. person's life, right? And you're feeling amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm, I probably would say I'm in, in the best shape I've been for, for a very long time. Um which you know in itself gives me the confidence stepping into this cage is knowing that I'm you know I am going to be able to last at least two rounds <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's all that matters because you're doing the good part the fighting is the bonus raising money for cancer that's the good part people are turning up yeah. it's a sold out event and if people want to support you I will put the link down below it'll be on Instagram yeah. and all that stuff it's going to be yeah, at justgiving.com yeah. um easy to find it but yeah that Talk us on out of here. Shout out who you need to shout out. Thank who you need to thank. Where people can find more of you. All that good, good stuff. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'd like to thank Ultra MMA for putting on the event. Um. The guys that have been organising it have been absolutely fantastic. I uh, I'd like to thank the team at Game Fight. The guys that have been getting me ready for this fight have been phenomenal. They've been great sparring partners. They've been teaching me little tricks and giving me all the information and confidence that I need to to step in there. And yeah, I'd like to thank les for for making sure that i'm i'm ready to step in that cage and win awesome stuff hey huge thank you for your time but when you're done the fight are you coming back on i'm more than happy to come back on and give you an update awesome thanks so much for your time sir thank you